9,000 plus were in attendance for the Battle of the Bricks between two of the hottest teams in the MAC. It was also Military Appreciation Day. Shout out our very own Tim Hanna. Here's how you get a crowd fired up on the very first possession. That was the first of three blocks for AJ Clayton on the day. Followed it up with back-to-back -back Miles Brown threes and the Bobcats were in business. But the Red Hawks responded with a 12-0 run to put them ahead by nine. Clayton said not so fast, hitting four straight threes, including this one to retake the lead and send the convo into a frenzy. Now if you're keeping track at home, that's six threes already. They finished the game hitting 15 of 29. That kind of spacing is big for the offense. Um, it's always important just to spread any defense out. Uh, Sarah just told us they were the top defensive team in the MAC, so obviously that just made their coverages have to change. Obviously Clay got us back into the game early, and then we were able to hit some big threes late for sure. Coming out of the half with a 39-32 lead, the Bobcats didn't slow down. Sharif Mitchell drilled the three to extend the lead to 10, and then Gabe Wisnitzer brought out the bunnies. Put that thing on a poster. The Bobcats pushed the tempo, which got them good looks. Mitchell said they felt like they had an advantage with Miami's bigger lineup. So they run two fives, you know, and so when you got two fives in the game, it can be tough to run. And so we knew that we needed to apply pressure to the rim, and we knew we wanted to play inside out. So, you know, get in transition and then, you know, trying to get them to collapse and kick out. It was more short runs back and forth for the rest of the half until Hunter called game hitting not one, but two daggers off the dribble to send Miami home back. My five years here, that's, that's the best crowd we've had. And just what an unbelievable atmosphere. And, um, you know, got into the game at the right times, multiple times, helped us, uh, you know, to the win. You know, our guys really fed off of that. But uh, shout out to everybody involved. You know, just a big time atmosphere today. That's a quick turnaround as the Bobcats start a three game road trip at Ball State. They've struggled on the road this year, but like Coach Bowles mentioned, we're on a one-game winning road winning streak, so we're undefeated in the last game. Reporting for Bobcat Showcase, I'm Bryce Tinson.